I have 33 years of law enforcement experience, and I've seen a lot of changes over those 33 years. But one thing that remains constant and true is the reason why we get into this profession. It is to help others. That service-oriented mentality, the, the need to want to protect those who cannot protect themselves. And that can run the gamut from something very small to I've just recovered uh, somebody's bike to the more extreme where I've apprehended a very serious violent offenders. And when I talk to the Tigard officers as to what got them into law enforcement, you see that, that common thread to help people, to provide them with the quality of life so that they can enjoy everything that the city of Tigard has to offer. I live in a community in Tigard that is, for the most part, a very quiet, family-oriented community. We've really had no problems except for one notable exception. There was one house on our street that created nothing but problems for the neighborhood. The family that owned the house would invite all sorts of guests to stay that were involved in any number of criminal activities. The police were constantly called to the house to serve warrants for arrest, to investigate um, or respond to overdoses that were taking place on the property. It took over a decade to remove the situation from our neighborhood and the Tiger Police Department was involved with the house throughout the duration of that, doing what they could to engage the owners, engage their guests, um, and educate the community about what activities we should be reporting to them and how they could help us resolve the situation and make our community safer. It requires a skill to be an active listener. Sometimes as problem solvers we want to jump in right away and, and solve the problem or, or make a statement and sometimes people just need to be heard and to listen. But it also takes time and we get busier day in and day out, and when officers are going call to call, those opportunities, or I look at them as missed opportunities, go away because maybe I'm hearing on the radio that there's another call coming, and I, and I all of a sudden start hurrying this conversation, and it might be something as, as simple as my car was broken into or somebody stole a package off my porch, and that can feel very personal to you that you've been violated in the comfort of my own home. And so sometimes we lose the opportunity to realize that that could be traumatic and have that empathy because we just wanna get the information, get that report and go. And so when we can create the time for the officer to feel like they can actually give that five, 10 minutes to not only hear what happened, but maybe provide you with some safety tips. Those are those valuable moments that um, we can't get back. And what I'm seeing is the trend is we're not getting those opportunities as frequently as we would like to. It's very important that, you know, in our faith, and I'm sure it's, it's a tradition of any faith, you know, based organization that, you know, uh, we don't thank God if we don't thank people that serve us. So we are very thankful. Islamophobia has been really in our public square. And from time to time, we do get threats, you know, and. Uh, you know, our community feel unsafe and insecure, you know, so we call the city of Target the police department. So they will investigate it and they will respond in a loving, constructive, comforting way to our community. In times of crisis, you know, they are there, you know, to support and they will make sure that they will make our community to feel safe and welcome in, in the city of Target. One of the significant impacts that we are facing that prohibit us from maybe doing the quality customer service that we would like to have is the demand. The increase for calls for service keeps growing every year. Last year alone in 2018, we had 1,200 more calls for service than we did the year before, but with the same number of officers that we had five years ago. And Tigard is a growing community. I think we can all agree about that. And so there, there's a, an additional amount of demand I had an opportunity to, to talk to some folks the other day and we were just talking about the numbers of police officers that are on patrol at any given time. They didn't realize that, that you know, in certain situations there may only be three officers uh, uh, active. They, their thought was, well, I hear police cars all the time and, 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 and clearly there must be a lot of, of activity going on and it's, well, you might be getting an officer from one district going to assist another officer in another. You know, we. We, we don't have a lot of 
police officers per thousand members in the community. So we, we want to be able to utilize them when, when they're most in need. Having that officer connect on a face-to-face -face basis with people who live in their district um, is a godsend in terms of police community relationships. We try to, uh, to, to heal one another, to look at each other first and most that we are brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter what uniform you wear, whether you wear the religious garment or the law enforcement uniform, you know, at the end of the day, we want safety and security for all. When somebody's in crisis, who are they gonna call? They're going to call us. Law enforcement is the first responders that are gonna go and deal with the situation. We're seeing the need for us to be there and it's taking us longer to get there. Our response time is taking longer and the process itself is, is taking longer. For example, going out to the jail would take about an hour through traffic um, and to come back. If, if we were dealing with somebody who was in a crisis but didn't really want our help but we knew that they were a danger to themselves, we would have to take them to a hospital that's not in Tigard. And on average, it's taken two to three hours to get them processed before the mental health professionals will release us. And so those take time, they're very time consuming. And so again, that is prohibiting us from giving the quality contacts that our community deserves.